Hello. Today I'd like to show you how I've gone about making this quilt that's up here behind me. I've called it that Wednesday quilt and that will be because I made it on a Wednesday. And I've made it using some very delicious fabrics from Newtex called Modern Garden. It's just a small range of fabrics that they've done. Um, and I think it's kind of fun. We've got these little birds in here if you can see those. And we've got an extra bird that echoes those birds as one of the applique shapes. So relatively simple quilt. There is uh, minimal piecing, just joining the strips together and things with some applique with the circles and the bird. Uh, so the pattern is going to be available on my website on gourmetquilter.com. It's called That Wednesday Quilt or it may be in a local quilt store near you somewhere. Uh, so inside the pattern we've got some cutting instructions. It tells you how to cut some strips. These are a kind of, this is my main fabric that I've used, this one with the little birds on and then I've used a lot of the stripes. So there's kind of two main fabrics, but more so of this darker one. So we've got to cut some strips of fabric and then we've got to cut them to a particular lengths. So I'm just going to quickly go through that with you and then we've got to cut some applique shapes. Uh, I'm sure you know how to cut a strip of fabric. They need to be cut, uh, the pattern tells you all this, eight and a half wide. Um, and then this main darker one has to be cut so that it's 24 and a half inches. So some of you won't have boards quite as big as this, you, so you can fold it over and, and cut it that way, but I'm just going to show you on this larger board. And if I want it to be 24 and a half inches, I'm actually, sorry, going to come from this end. I'm going to trim off my selvage just here. Line it up, I like to line everything up with my board because then I know things are sitting nice and straight. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to trim it to take that selvage off. And then I'm going to come along the board to 24 and a half inches because that's the size it needs to be cut. And everything's still sitting nice and straight. It's all lined up with my board. And there I've got my strip. And so that leaves me quite a large uh, piece at the end, which we don't particularly need in the quilt top. The pattern does mention if you want to use up some of the leftovers because there are a few with this one that you could perhaps use them on the back, but uh, more on that on the pattern. So that's that piece cut. And then from the stripe, this one is less than half the width of the fabric for the length that we need to cut these. So you can actually get two out of a width of fabric. This one was more than half, so we need to um, cut them that way. So I only need one piece of this because I've actually already done my other bits. So I'm just going to cut this one to length here and because you can get two out of a width there's not um, anything like as much waste on this particular fabric here. And my board is getting little grooves in it, I need to do something about that. And this one's cut at 18 and a half, so I'll just get that cut. And then as I said normally you would need you'd be able to get your other piece out of that width there although I don't need to in this instance because I'm just showing you with this one. And then to make the strip so we're going to work the quilt in bands across. I'm just going to join that together just again with our normal quarter inch seam allowance and we'll get that done quickly and then I can show you how to pop the applique on there as well. This is a, a kind of a fun quilt. It's it's nice to showcase these nice fabrics. It's nice to have just a little bit of interest going on. And then I'm going to press that seam now because the applique actually sits right over the join. We don't want a bulky seam pressed one way, so I'm actually going to press it open so that that doesn't happen. It'll just help it sit a little bit flatter. So I'm just going to open that seam out and press that. When you're applicating over the top of the seams, it's often quite helpful to make the area behind the applique as flat as possible. So now I might just press it from the right side as well, just to make sure. So that's looking pretty good. So we've got this nice strip with a join. Now I'm quite sure that you actually all know how to do that. And then, again, the pattern has got all the um, 
information here. So we've just achieved this. There's some that are longer on this side with this colour and some that are longer on that side. So you get this movement with the circles there. The pattern shows you all that. There's also um, four different size circles that you're going to need. So all the shapes are in the pattern for you to trace. 